Okay, today we're going to be doing a quick shootout of two very popular mini compressor pedals, the JHS Whitey Tidy and the Keeley Compressor Mini. Same footprint, same cost, roughly speaking. The addition of the blend knob on the JHS is the only different feature. Doesn't make that much of a difference when comparing these two, as you'll see in just a moment. The main difference is the type of circuit. The JHS is based on his Pulp and Peel larger compressor, which is based on the famous Dan Armstrong Orange Squeezer. I emailed JHS, had an exchange with them. They confirmed for sure this is the Pulp and Peel in a mini enclosure with slightly fewer features, but same circuit. The Keeley is a classic MXR Dynacomp raw style compressor much like the Wampler Ego Mini and the Exotic SP Mini Compressor. So this is really representing that family of compressors in our shootout today. The third type of compressor circuit is an optical compressor. I previously owned the Moore M-O-O-E-R Yellow Comp, which is also a mini pedal, much more affordable in the range of like 30 bucks used. So that would be like the third type of compressor if you were wanting to represent every food group in the compressor circuit family. All right, let's listen to these real quick and then I'll come back and give you my thoughts. Okay, excuse any chaos from my pedal board today. I had to jam these two little mini fellows in there for the demo. Uh, the clean tone is a Telecaster in the middle position. Seymour Duncan, Jerry Donahue Bridge, Strat 5.2 Neck Pickup. We've got a little bit of the Albert Lee Delay algorithm here with the TC Plethora X5. Which got a little EQ from the wonderful parametric EQ on the orange two-stroke. And just coincidentally, uh, we have an orange micro dark, which is very underrated for the beautiful clean tones it produces. You'll notice that I have the blend knob on the JHS all the way off. That's just in fairness, since the Keeley doesn't have a blend knob. And honestly, I don't see the point of the blend knob on the JHS anyway, because it's an incredibly transparent compressor. So you don't need to blend in any of your clean signal. It's already incredibly transparent. So it's off. You're getting full compression out of both pedals. All right. You'll also notice I have the compression dimed on the JHS. That's because it's just not as powerful. It's not as squishy as the Keeley. These are set up basically equivalent right now. And you can see this one's dimed and this one is under noon. Okay. And the bypass tone. JHS is brighter, it preserves more of the highs, if not adding some sparkle, whereas it sounds like the Keeley cuts the highs just a bit and maybe adds a little beef on the low end. <laughs> Thank you. 
this just doesn't have that real clamping, squishing thing going on. It's <laughs> spiking because again it's just clamping so much harder so much faster okay this is a tough one for me frankly I kind of want to keep both of these uh, but they do very different things as I hope you heard there the orange squeezer circuit that's in this JHS pedal is extremely transparent adds some sparkle adds some life but really doesn't come across as an overt effect. You're really not going to notice it being on until you turn it off and that's even with the with the compression dimed. So for me I found this very similar to an optical style compressor. Again that Moor Yellow Comp is based on the famous diamond compressor. When I had one of those it was the same sort of thing. You could barely tell it was on until it was off, and then you could tell that it had been adding some sparkle and some life and obviously evening out things. So if you're the type of person that has never liked compressors because maybe you've only tried the Keeley or Dynacomp or the Ross style compressor or the Wampler Ego, you'll probably love something like this, the orange squeezer circuit or an optical compressor. The orange squeezer circuit is a FET, F-E-T, um, type of transistor compressor. Um, again, not squashing your dynamics or doing other things to give you that kind of strangled feeling you have on your playing that you get when you really crank the comp on uh, a Ross style or an MXR style compressor like this Keeley. On the other hand, if you're a country player or you really want to use compression as an effect, you want it to be noticeable don't get the JHS, don't get the Moore, get either this or again the, the Wampler Ego, the Exotic SP, if you're going to be playing funk country where you really want to use compression as an effect, you want that per percussive attack, um, you really want something like this. And what Keeley has done to take all the twiddling and knob fiddling out of it with this brilliant two knob design is really pure genius. So I highly, highly recommend this if that's what you're looking for. If on the other hand, you just wanna add some sparkle to your tone, not strangle your dynamics at all, um, always on, you know, something like this is gonna be great awesome pedal otherwise and this one's great too it's just not as obvious an effect all right hope that wasn't too much talking um thanks for joining me as always see you next time